So, should it ever come to a point where you're very injured and need a stretcher to pull you out to the hospital, just be thankful you never have to deal with the stretchers. Hype. Yeah. Hype. But what? James, James is feel James is sounding pretty ill. We have to prepare him for the evac. He, it's the just a cold. I, it, it's just a cold. I don't think he really Got needs the operation. stretcher. Get the jaws of life and then the stretcher. Anyway, so yeah, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our look at on the stretcher for the Nintendo Switch. A rather Do sudden little indie surprise from Nintendo and the developers of uh, Little Nightmares, uh, Tizier Studio. Yeah, t our Tizier, Tizier Studios. Named after a weird monkey. Yeah. But, yeah. Ready for a complete and utter tonal shift from Little Nightmares if you've ever seen that game prior to now? Oh, dear God. Those, the, this game and that game couldn't be any more, like... Tonally different? Yeah. Like, day and night. This is straight up colorful, cartoony, and honestly, does not give a flying fuck about taking itself seriously. That sounds like my kind of game so far. Wait. <gasps> Ooh. There's a rogue in our midst. Da, da, There's da, da. evil afoot. Do we ever learn of who You know, I can is? see you only barely oh. high in Oh boy. And it's too late. She's been dizzied. <gasps> really, is that it? They just make people dizzy? Yep, pretty much. And here's our heroes, the stretchers. Look, they're a little practice test dummy. Okay, she's practicing CPR. I didn't know what the other guy was doing, though. It's... Okay, he's looked, just admiring, he's just admiring his, his handiwork. Look at the size of that walkie-talkie. <laughs> I love him. He's like, hey, what is this thing? <laughs> you know, I said before and I'll say it again, I never understand what the heck they're saying behind the pod, uh, speakers. Anyway, time for our first major job. Whoa. Don't worry, he's just a dummy. <laughs> Dear God, help us all. Don't. Thank you, autopilot. So, should, should, should be said real quick, I actually skipped a little small portion in the beginning. But honestly, it's one of those things where uh, you don't really need to see it for the sake of a look at. And here's our operator. Uh, it's loud. There's something unusual happening at the farm. Even more unusual than usual. Get your wheels moving and follow the... Bleh. Kick those sirens into high uh, pitch. Wow, she sounds, she sounds just as sick as I am right now. Yeah, it's a depidemic. We have to do something about this, so... First off, first, first there's people getting sick, and then there's people getting dizzy. Oh, what geez. a conundrum! We should hurry on over to the farmlands. Anyway, so how, are, so how are the driving controls? Um, the driving controls are pretty standard. Like, they get the job done more often than not. Okay. So, so the main uh, gimmick of the game, well, is no doubt obvious. We gotta take care of those dizzies that are, well, dizzy. <gasps> oh, oh God. They don't, farmers don't take rests. Get back to the camp. No, get back to work. <laughs> Trust me, that kind of this kind of humor is pretty much all over the place. Like this is not this is a game that's just honestly just does whatever the hell it wants, and it and it makes you totally believe it. It would make sense in this kind of island paradise. I guess so. Because yes, believe it or not, the entire game does play, take place on an island. Well, technically two islands that are uh, bridged together. Ah, that, I see. That, mm -hmm. So yeah. So the main gimmick of the game is Oop. to, uh, well, you got you got yourself a little stretcher here, and you want to put Oop. put all the dizzies onto said stretcher and take them Oop. over to, to your truck. Oh my gosh, the ragdoll Oop. physics Oop. are great. Oop. 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 Oh yeah, the ragdoll physics in this game are well, they can get pretty loopy, but more often than not, the game's actually pretty good about keeping oh. uh, keep, keeping them as um well s sticking as it should be. Is it possible to lose people off your stretcher if you're not careful? It is possible, but uh, honestly, it's not that hard to put, pick them back up. Yeah, then. That's it also, again, it also helps, oh. and it helps do that. Well, it's all, it pretty much mag they all magnetize straight right on the stretcher. Nice. Uh, That's so, good. Wa watching this gameplay here, this reminds me a lot of a game called Brothers: A Tale of Two Sons, with like having to move in conjunction. Uh, yes, not that one. <laughs> but I was gonna say, uh, so how did that? How did controlling that feel, James? Like controlling the two of them in tandem. Well, honestly, it pretty much controls much like, say, a, 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 that game you just mentioned. You do right. control both characters with the uh, left and right oh. Joy-Con, and oh. honestly, their colors should make, should, well, should help you, help you out on which characters you control. Them. Yeah. And, um... Clear the way! Out of the way! We're I, on a job here! 
I, I oh, noticed. There we go. I, I, I'm noticing that you get more points for the more havoc you cause in driving. Yeah. Well, you do, but at the same time, though, don't get too cocky because there's something that can take your points down. Oh, okay. Professor Doctor. Hmm. That's Mr. Mr. Professor, Professor Doctor to you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, if you want an example of how fucked in the head this game can be at times, uh, eventually you'll actually get upgrades to your um, vehicle that can Ooh. actually allow you allow to um, get a booster, among other things. And literally, the one way they make you test it out is to make is to test it out to see if it can travel faster than the internet itself. <gasps> That's a miraculous anyway. Let's try the D-Dizzler. Yeah, it's it's as stupid as it sounds, and I love it. Get in there. Do, 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 I love this whole do, 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 do. I love the posing that these guys do. It's like you got them got the stare guys, and then just the guy they're just crouching. It's like what is this a fucking gang photo or something? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say the dude in the front's posing like he's about to be on the cover of a music album. That too. But yeah, here's the D-Dizzler at work, and it works like a charm. Wow. Well, assuming I... there's no side effects. I'm realizing that everybody here is stupid because they just have the machines do it all for them. Go. Thank nice. you, Professor Doctor. All right, but so uh, I guess yeah, well we're covering that bit now. Uh, how much can people get this game for? Uh, it is available on the Switch eShop for twenty dollars. Okay. Uh, and I will and I will say this much: I do think this game is fun, though it's also pretty short. Oh, like nuts. honestly, I'm not entirely certain if the twenty if twenty dollars would be enough to justify an entire playthrough. But this game does um do give you enough to hopefully tie some of that time over. Mm. You know, I'm not gonna lie. On my end, I don't know. I don't know if that pause was actual or if it was just like a weird delay on my end. But on my end, it seemed like you were about to be like, I mean, the game is fun, and that was it. <laughs> the game well, it is fun. It's it fun. fun. But I will also say though. Uh, this game can also be a little frustrating at times, because, um, now, um, are you guys familiar, I, I mean, why should I be asking that? You, you two were with me when we did Snipper Clips a few years ago. Yeah. Yes. Pretty much, this, pretty much this game runs on a very similar thing, where, like, it really encourages you to play with a friend. Right. Although, I think this game is far more, well, obvious of that than Snipper Clips, because, um, this game does require a little, little quick reflexes at times. And it is a little tough to do when you're controlling both yeah. characters at the same time. And here's yeah, our boy. villain for the game. The villain? Yeah, this is him. Wow. He has an evil, an evil mustache to prove it. Do you think we should stop him? And a pig. And now we're going to see his next victim. Nope. Nah, the pig's dizzy. Should we do something? Uh, I don't think. I just love like. See ya, suckers! I love how there's like no reaction from either of them. They're just both dumbfounded. And, like, is this life right now? I, I just. I oh, love. Oh. oh. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Hello? Yes mm -hmm. and yes. Loud and very loud. I'm the villainous guy from before. In all the excitement, I forgot to tell you my name. You may call me Captain Brains. Huh. Oh, okay. No, that's nice to get it. Oh, that just happened. But at least now I know he's been turning everyone into dizzies. The new coin term I invented just a second ago. So, I heard that guy used to be a medic on your team. A tragic backstory. Anyway. Well, hey, it's there, it's there now, so we can get it out of the way. Now I'm a little bit offended that you picked me as your operator. Who knows what I'll become? <laughs> I can feel the urge to commit common theft and pickpocketing as we speak. One time I even jaywalked. And it's taking me every bit- All the humanities! And it's taking every bit of willpower that I can muster from my very being to prevent me from taking more than one sample from the free samples plate. I can feel it in my bones. Anyway, here we got a world map. Yeah, cool. Looks nice. Oh yeah, did I say, did I say two islands? I meant to say three. It's sectioned off into three. Uh, it, looks like, but... it looks like a little baby turtle riding on the back of a big one. <laughs> Paramedicing. <laughs> Let's get right back to... Oh wait, oh there's a training. Yeah, there's a training. You... This, is a, this is a bit I skipped earlier, but you can come back here and, well... That'll practice up your skills and play around with uh with this thing. I'm sorry, just <laughs> like ooh accordion. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking like just you talk about like the baby turtle, and I'm just thinking like if you squint and turn your head, it looks like a bunny. 
No, it doesn't. It just looks like a skull. Okay, it's a duck. Some... Appear... That's a duck. Anyway, they'll appear on your map on Magli. Uh, so how big is this world that we're driving around with such rampant disregard for traffic laws? It's sizable, but not too big, I would say. Like, honestly, it's roughly around as big as, like, your typical uh, Mario Odyssey world map. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Like, this one half would pretty much just be, um, like, this, like, that, like, the current portion of the island we're on, we're on we could, it could very well be, like, like, the first few, few bits of, like, say, um, Toastarina or something, or, not Toastarina, freaking, uh, Cascade? Bono, for example. Oh, right. That. Okay. Like, again, just, again, it's, it's big, but not Oop. too big. It, it gets just, it, it crams in just enough. I it's was half expecting when you glided into the building, you would have woo. Oh jeez! Oh yeah, I was about to say, well, I'll, Maybe okay. We train on this thing. I was about to say when you first collide into that building and building, I was expecting one of two things: one for you to plow right through it like a wrecking ball, or to just like stop on a dime then just ride up along the wall. <laughs> I mean, this game's this game's overall physics can be really fucking weird at times. Sometimes, sometimes the. More often than not, though, it won't really get you in trouble. Say for me, one instance. So, that oh, I can think yeah, kind of like that. Right. Yeah. Honestly, it is pretty fun, though. Like, say, if you're coming back to the hospital, instead of just taking the typical roadway there, you can just crash through the freaking fence. Yeah. I, 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 I like looking at... The, uh, can... can uh, God, if you were playing co-op... Oh, jeez. Trouble with the old sawmill. Uh, if if you're playing co-op, would both you and player two be controlling the car? Uh, I don't think so. No, it's usually reserved for the person who actually gets on the passenger. Or excuse me, the driver's seat. Gotcha. Gotcha. I just imagine you, I just imagine you guys get into that thing. It's like, uh, why this... are there? I just imagine everybody going into that, and they're thinking, why are there six pedals if there are only four directions? <laughs> um, real quick, um, is this Shotgun. local? I was about to say, is this local only? What was that hype? Lo like local co like local co-op only. Oh, uh, yeah, local co-op, unfortunately. Nice. Oh well. I mean, yeah, I can't. Wait. I mean, it's fair. I, I don't think that's the thing. I don't think most people. I I know we've usually gone on a game's case if it's not online co-op, but that's mainly because we're not local. But we want our oh. co-op. Oh. But um. Oh god. Back, dangerous as ever. This will be fun. Thank goodness that guy wasn't leaning too far to the left. I was gonna say, um, but I like, um, oh, deploy the, we, we need the stretcher. Oh, I think yeah, they're waiting. We, well, yeah, I'm trying to assess my surrounding first. Hello, a golden axe. Pull it, oh. there you go. Cool, now we and can. Yes, it, it is literally called a golden axe. Cool, now we can make the dizzies even smaller and more compact to fit on the stretcher. Devil damn. Like I, mean, I said, these we, guys aren't very good doctors. We could put this on the stretcher if we want to, but eh. Doop. Oh, okay. We'll just rob them. The payment. Works. Every level, most if not every level, have their own. Oh god. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ow. R2 yeah. Is everybody. There's plenty of obstacles the R2 heroes will have to be wary <laughs> of, and if you do get hit by them, you do lose points. Also, at but every level you... outside of the intro. Um, has a bonus timer thing, which, um, well, it's mostly there for bragging rights, but, um, later on you actually get, uh, a little, you get a little sticker book from the mayor, which is pretty much your achievement list. I do uh -huh. think you get something if you clear them all, but whatever it is, I don't know, because I never bothered. Okay. Get in, get in. Ooh. So, as far as this game, like, how I just came to discover this game is concerned, oh. it's honestly funny, because, um... Dude. Oh, uh, it's oh, fun. I first it's heard of this game. I actually oh, got it. Oh, okay. Through a through a Japanese trailer that was released literally, um, I think it was literally like the midnight of the, its release in Japan. Uh -huh. And I and I will admit, it really overplayed just how goofy this game can, could be. Like it and, oversold and, and, it, and you were a little like underwhelmed when it finally no, came no, out. No, 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 no. More, more like it played it up to a point where I'm like, oh god, I need to play this. And <laughs> well, I did. Well, that's great. Uh, and again, it's so it's so great to see the studio that handled freaking Little Nightmares Little and is Nightmares, I believe making yeah. the second the sequel as well. Just how tonally different. I think we've been tossing around that word too much. I'm gonna say something different. Uh, the amount of how diverse that they can create their games and like, I'm glad to see that this will hopefully allow them to not be typecast as just a horror game developer. That yeah, would be nice. I'm not gonna. I, I'm not gonna gratify that with a response. 
Move it on. Get used to that. That's she literally. That's literally her bread and butter in this game. Oh no! <laughs> Stop the new wall. All right. No, but no. What and what happened there? Hyde was she was saying puns like three in a row. Oh okay. She was really getting it. She was really getting into it. Yeah. Uh -oh. No, no you can't crash into buildings. That would be funny if you could. Or just climb up them, like I said earlier. You use the door like a peasant. Peasant. <laughs> that guy's tone for a, for a Doctor Doom was very good. Yeah. So in total, I want to say there's about 17 missions. And okay. um, though that being said, there's there's more to this. There's a little more to the game than just the typical stretcher missions. You also have a few. Um, I forget what they call them exactly, but they're basically like little time killer sort of missions, which gives you, which helps you unlock more options for traversal. Okay. Aloha, my former friends. Still think you can help people by curing them, eh? When will you learn? I swear, he kind of looks like Jim Carrey Eggman, but with a weird hat. He does. He really does. Like Jesus Christ. I mean, I don't know. Okay, and I know actually about the, as of recording this, we have about a little bit, a little over a month before that comes out. And mm -hmm. I mean, I guess real quick, taking a poll, are you gonna, are, are you gonna check that out? Maybe not in theaters because uh, we're kind of in this financial position where we can't go to the theaters mm -hmm. as frequently as we'd like to. But I do right. want to check it out eventually. I'm debating on it. I mean, I it would be nice to, but I'll probably just get the Blu-ray. Okay. I... Mm, I may just be curious enough to give it a shot in theaters, but... <laughs> I, I would need to, like, get some... Uh, oh, not, oh. I, I would need to oh, get... Oh, yeah, a, if you also press the A button, whoever, whatever character you're not controlling at the time will, follow, will try to follow you, so that can help. Mm. Robbing the bank. Okay, and that, uh, I guess that's fair, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I would probably I'm need to get a group. realize one. that this might have not been the most op optimal way of put, uh, pulling that thing. <laughs> probably oh, not. I, I, I guess looking also, at wait that... wait a minute. Someone's stuck in, the, stuck, in, stuck in the changing room. Let's help him out. Whoa. Is that a slow wrestler? Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bouncy, bouncy. Oh, it, it looked like King Hippo on his day off. <laughs> that's... Ugh. Oh, man. Hopefully... Like, talk about a missed opportunity. Hopefully but, he's not yeah, as heavy um, as King Hippo. But um, yeah, among the typical <laughs> among the typical um, residents, we also got super wrestlers who also inhabit the uh, this random <laughs> island. And uh, funny enough, the mayor of the of the place is also a sumo wrestler. That is not uh -huh. a flattering position for that woman to be carried around in. Yeah. Oh no, kidding. This is not. Oh god. So, anyway, as I this is I'm, I'm sorry. This is like mount your friends level of weird with all the. Yeah. Ragdoll positioning. But, yeah, stuff. just real quick. You, you were talking about you were needing your friend to go with you to the Sonic movie. Yeah, I would just do that. You know, make it a fun little outing thing. And also, I know Matt and Pi talked about when they see each other in February that they're gonna watch that together. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be. Fun. I'm sure it'll be fun. And oh, I'm sure oh, it'll be. Fun. Oh, 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 we lost. Oh, one. you dropped one. Didn't they never? Didn't they ne never hear the hear the golden rule that crap kills? <laughs> oh jeez. Careful. Careful. But, but I, also, that's... it's here where I realized, wait a minute, I probably shouldn't be doing this while with a stretcher full of people. No, yeah. you probably shouldn't. That'd be dangerous. Uh, but but it is interesting. When, back when we were lifting that safe, but safe, it's interesting to see that they do take into account the physics of like it's probably best to pick things up from opposite opposite angles to really maximize the leverage. Not to mention, like more often than not, it's better to pick up everything with the stretcher because like it doesn't really take into account like whatever weight differences there are with everything. I mean, like the sumo wrestler, that poor guy over there that's clipping on the umbrella. Yeah, and Geronimo! Oh, oh God! God. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been something if you were just a little off and one of them accidentally fell in the ocean? Uh, one more thing I'll bring up real quick, because, uh -huh. um, I'm, this is sort of a theory on my end, because I'm never, not sure if it's been confirmed or not, uh -huh. but, um, I know Nintendo some time ago made a new, new sort of game engine for the Switch that's mostly there to help support indie developers. I'm mm -hmm. wondering if the stretcher was also made with said engine. Uh -huh. Maybe. I'm just, I just wish I could remember the name of it. Uh, like this game is exclusive to Switch, right? Oh yeah, it's it's an it's Nintendo published. In fact, yeah, it's Nintendo published. Yeah, hence okay. it's all the red just and make, blue. Just like, making oh, yeah, sure. No, this game was completely made with the Switch in mind. Let me look up Nintendo Switch Indie Game Engine. Let's see. Um, oh, 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 almost, God. almost, oh, devil! Oh, now, flip it. Usually, Oop. you can save yourself from this predicament. 
In this case, though... Did you just wedge yourself? I wedged myself in just enough to trap me. You can't flip it at all flip? because he's wedged Wait, between... you can't? No, yeah, because the oh. polygons, he's on a slope surface just before another ah. slope surface of that roof. We are literally stuck. <laughs> Will our heroes escape? All those poor, dizzy people. <laughs> just stuck forever. Well, that's something I know they're going to have to patch soon. Also, are you talking? Also, in terms of the uh, the portal thing, are we talking about the Nintendo Developer Portal or? No, nah, I can't be. Um... Not the Developer Portal. It goes by a name. I just don't remember what it was. I remember it was brought up like a while ago. Okay, I know Unity works well with Switch. Oh yeah, there, like Unity, Unreal Four, etc. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, what if if I can ever find it, find it and post it, post editing, I'll be sure to um, display the name. Sure thing. Also, don't mind the chickens. Anyway, <laughs> that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, that's it for our little look at on the stretchers for Nintendo Switch. I will definitely give my recommendation to this, assuming you have a friend to play with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and real quick, I think what you're, I just looked it up. Are we talking about the Nintendo Dev Interface, the NDI? That might be it, but I'm not entirely sure. Again, I'll look it up later. No worries. But um, yeah. on that, but that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm James Extreme. I'm Lucky Jack 20. And I'm looking forward to when these guys become an assist trophy in Super Smash Brothers 6. Are they good? <laughs> get them, get them to the hospital. And I just realized, they missed a grand opportunity for a special guest in this game. And stretch. Oh, God <laughs> damn it. You know, it's bad enough that, like, in the... You know how at the, at the end of every YouTube video you have, like, uh, thumbnails for different videos? One yeah. of them is that one part of Sonic Battle that just went public at the time of us recording. Yay! See, everybody. Whee!